Well, we're in August. And one of my hired helpers decided they weren't going to fully hook things up. So when they went to turn things on, getting ready to harvest the sorghum, the header just dropped completely because it wasn't fully hitched in. PTO sent it for a ride. And then he proceeded to drive up on it. From what we can see right now, there's not too much damage. So we'll still be able to use it, I think, for harvest and not really lose the yield. I just can't believe this, though. I mean, first you got course play, which can be a little wonky. Yeah, auto drive can do its own things from time to time. But you know what, bro? Those are good sources. Good hired help. Then you get the standard hired helper who just does his own thing. I just don't even know what to do. Do we fire him? Do we keep him? And put him on a different job? We got the truck, we got the grain. I mean, this is just... Uh, I'm flustered. We put a lot of money into this season to get ready for this harvest. This is our first true harvest up here in Shellbrook. Where we planted all the crops that you see. Over here. We're just about ready, if not ready as well. Get that barley, get the straw from it. But yeah, we gotta figure this out. To get back into this. Before bad weather comes in. See where there's not too bad, but there we got some dark clouds out on the horizon. But yeah, I just can't believe it. Well, let's see if we can maybe hook up the Steiger and pull this off without doing any damage. Check it over real quick. Go from there. Alright, so I am driving the grain cart. Looks like both harvesters are running smoothly now. The one that we had the issues with was the worker up in the front. We put him on cleaning the cow pens out for right now. We've got our brand new one that we just purchased in the back right there. Running his combine number two. Should make light work of this sorghum field. But yeah, if you're enjoying the content, go ahead, give that thumb button a tap tap helps the content out, lets me know you enjoy the content that's being put out. But yeah, we got another serious question on the table. So recently DJ Modding released a Nebraska map, and we all know what's in Nebraska. We all know what originated in Nebraska. Blue Plains Dairy and FS19. So on the table we have an option now to take this series and rotate episodes or one episodes down in Nebraska set up just like what we had before and the other episode is up here in Shellbrook Canada if you guys would like to see that please leave a comment down below I can show you the operations of both week by week and I think it would really show how far we've expanded with Blue Plains Dairy over the years we just gotta get up the herd down there which is going to be about 10,000 so that's going to be a good test for farming simulator 22 on the Nebraska map but yeah if you want to see it go ahead let me know you guys have been great with the feedback and support lately and I love it I know a lot of you enjoyed my post about content creators just trying to share the wealth and the love that so many have shown me but anyway get back into the grind here. We've got some hauling to do. These guys don't fill up too quick. I'm a little nervous about the yield to be honest with you. As we're driving around this field it is not looking chipper. Yeah that's gonna be wrong. Oh and I forgot to mention we got our tanker back that we use for digestite and slurry. That was a pretty price, about 11 grand to get it fixed. Luckily no damage to the axle. Just mostly the rims, the tires. So we're good to go there. Hopefully. Got a great response from y'all. Got a great response from y'all on that too. On that 
you know, future tire mod. Obviously, that was more just, you know, thinking outside the box, but a lot of you seem to really want something like that in the game to add a new feel of realism. So if you're a modder, check it out. Maybe it's something you can bring to the table. I do not have the modding skills to do that yet. Even though the trailer was bouncing quite a bit during that video. Alright, so these guys are getting up there. We're going to pull up alongside and empty out the first one. You shouldn't be stopping. There we go. But we'll get this filled up with sorghum and he's still stopping. He's just not close enough. That might be the problem. Yep, we gotta run this tight. Without getting the other harvester stuck. Oh, he's still working on the corner, so you know what? We're just gonna unload right here because he seems jammed up. Go get the second one. And we're at 55% in the grain auger. Grain cart, whatever you like to call it. This one's fine. Do we have a short pipe on the other one? We might have a short pipe on the other one. That's going to be problems down the road. If we go with a bigger green cart, wider green cart, like the new Demcos. Has anybody been using those yet? I saw they just got another update on Mod Hub. I haven't downloaded it yet. And I'm full. So we are going to run around. Close the tarp. Now, we will unload in the trailer that does not have the tarp roll side. I know a lot of you have been mentioning it in RG streams lately, so we had to make sure today we're doing it the right way. But the beauty of Farm Sim is you can play however you want in the end. I do notice that in the fall, this river does pick up quite a bit and height. Actually, you know what? We might not be unloading on the... Whoop, big bump. Oh, boy. This might be too tight. Oh, I hate doing this, but we're going to do it. We're going to take a little bit of crop with us. There we go, not the greatest animation, maybe because I'm on a pipe, no. But we're unloading. We officially have harvest year two underway. Are they going to fill that already? That should be a full trailer. Next thing we need to do, I think, is buy a second truck. Because we're going to have to start hauling supplies more often. And when the market's booming, we're going to need to start moving all our finished goods. But yeah, we're going to get it out of the road. We got a full auger over there. What's going on? Open the tarp. Looks like the harp no nope, harp is just backing up. He is not full. Though we probably should unload him again. 
Oh, he, he's doing fine. Let's pull up. See if we can unload the remaining bit of this. Big thing is keeping Harvester 1 running so this guy doesn't jam up behind it. Yeah, once I get done these corners, I should really get to running a lot faster. Again, I would figure by maybe 10 a.m. in game time, we should have this sorghum field done. And moving on to the barley across the road. I think those are the only crops that are ready right now. Beans won't be ready for a while. Corn is going to be close to winter. He's just dumping extra into us now. We'll stop. Hold here. We'll let these guys go to work. And I think overall that's probably going to do it for me today. Didn't have a lot of time to make this video. Want to edit something else. Unfortunately, it did not come out the way I wanted. So I came back to the save. We're running it like this. But again, if you guys want to see me bring Nebraska into this series as well, where Blue Plains Dairy all started, I need your feedback. I need your support as always. And I think we can make it happen. Farmer Taz, out.